House Civis Broadcasting. Every time I say that, it feels like a bad case of deja vu. Happy far, everyone. It is the 20th of Iyer, and I'm your dizzy host, Silas DeSivis. And I'm your slightly concerned host, Alufi Haskell DeSivis. Are you suffering from a long night of drinking, or...? Don't I wish. No, I, I just heard a terrible ringing in my head. It's probably nothing. But we have a great show for our listeners today. We have some uh, Luffy's advice questions, a bit of news. And then our old pal Kevin's going to join us to sing a song and talk more about tiny taverns. He is really pushing that idea. Please, someone come perform for him. He has really doubled down on the summoning thing. Uh, he tried hosting like a battle of the bands like uh, our last guest their Dream Lancers had talked about. Nobody came. I kind of feel bad for him. I don't, but I am delighted to have him here with us today on this broadcasting of A, a Chronicle, Chronicle of, of Echoes. Echoes. Today we're going to start with my favorite segment, where you, our listeners, write in for little modicums of wisdom. That's right, it's time for a Luffy's Advice Corner. I have to say, these have been growing on me, and as long as we do these, we don't have to do much worse ideas. You mean alicorns and alligators pet time with a Luffy? It feels like you're really pushing the alliteration, and I feel like that is just, it, it makes it nonsense immediately. But if there's no alliteration, what should I do? I don't. You, you, you went A's again and again. Just try, try, creature corner, creature corner. Look at that. But we have, I, I did that so quickly. But we've got creature feature. That is entirely my fault. I forget him. Uh, well, uh, let's go ahead and get into the first one here. Wow, this is a nicer paper than usual. Ooh, let me see, let me see. Uh, I haven't seen this one. How did it get in the pile? I'm not sure. Uh, perhaps you missed it? <laughs> I don't miss them anymore, Silas. I thought I'd read them all. I don't, I don't recognize this one. Well, let's give it a shot. It says, Dear Luffy, Four jolly men sat down to play and played all night till break of day. They played for cash and not for fun with a separate score for every one. When it came time to square accounts, they all had made quite fair amounts. Not one has lost, and all have gained. Tell me now, this can you explain? Your friend, Flamewind. Well, it is nice to see that we've got the attention of the Sphinx at Morgrave University. Oh my gosh, Flamewind said this. Yeah, I'm not a fan of riddles myself. Yeah, you wouldn't be. With your grasp on wordplay, I'm not surprised. It's not about wordplay. The answer is always some dumb thing you couldn't possibly get because it requires a level of oh, abstract thought. Hush, 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 hush. Riddles are great. Okay, so let's see here. There's a score, and there's cash, and they didn't lose anything. They only gained it. Hmm. I don't want to be rude to Kevin. Well, actually, I do, but we should move this along. Just take a guess and we'll continue. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. I think I've got the answer. The answer is that the four jolly men are kings in a deck of cards. Um, they're being played for cash, but they can't actually own any cash. And the things that they gain are experience and, like, being bent and stuff from being played so much. More abstract nonsense. Well, I, I guess we we'll, won't know till we get another letter. What's that? What's that noise? Do you hear that? It's coming from the singer. It's hurting my ears. Turn it off. Meeps, shut it down. Shut, shut it down. It's not stopping. Let me try hitting it. Eek. 
Class. Service. Abroad. Sightseeing. Are you working this year? Sure, see, I've been asked. Yeah, it isn't much sight you've ever saw you. No, Mary, it's not. You're watching on this nail field, Murph. You're throwing it here we have that. So I may ask to get beer good than eating it. Is there a way to find you off side? Well, so we should never forget the city. I'm not sure if you get much of it. Sure, it's neat. It's not going to cost you to be a little girl. Yeah, it's neat. So this is like, so how do you feel what I'm out in it? So this is telling us, it's neat. I mean, I'm... If I want that, Kevin. See it, Skylar, my cat is... A chronicle... Of... Pet Echoes. A House Civis Broadcasting. Every time I say that, it feels like a bad case of deja vu. Happy far, everyone. It is the 20th of Iyer, and I'm your dizzy host, Silas DeCivis. And I'm your slightly concerned host, Luffy Haskell DeCivis. Suffering from a long night of drinking, I suppose? Don't I wish. No, I just heard a weird ringing. It's probably nothing. We've got a great show for our listeners. We have some Luffy's advice questions, a bit of news. And then our old pal... Wait a second. Did, did we do this already? Now, who's suffering from a long night of drinking? As Luffy was saying, we're gonna have we, on... We did, we did. Hold on. We, we just did this. I mentioned Kevin and Tiny Caverns, and then you said he, he is, is really, really pushing, pushing that, that idea. idea. Well, that was weird. Let, let's um jump into today's broadcast of A Chronicle of Echoes. Meeps, if you will. No, 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 no. Meep, 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 meep. Stop the intro. Stop the intro. This is serious. We did all of this before already. We did the music, and then Silas, you grabbed a letter from the pile. Yes, that is the basic premise of the advice N- corner. No, not a letter. That one. The fancy one from Flamewind. Well, it is nice to see we got the attention of the Sphinx of Morgrave University. We did this, and it was a riddle, and then we read the riddle, and I said that the answer was that the four jolly men are kings in a deck. Of cards, and then the ringing starts from the singer device. Is that what it is? It's like nails on my brain. Oh. Meeps, Meeps, do you know how to stop this? Meeps, shut it down. Oh, it's not stopping. Let me try hitting it. No, 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 don't, don't, don't! A House Civis Broadcasting. I'm your host... A Luffy Haskell de Civis. And I'm your co-host, Silas Cyrilin de Civis. And boy, oh boy, do we have an exciting show for our listeners today. I doubt it. But sure, let's humor this idea. What makes today such an exciting show, Silas? Well, we have some Tales of Triumph in our Silas's Smile Stories segment. Mm. And then our old pal Beggar Dane will be on to impart some words of wisdom to help us get through these tough times. Tough times? Sounds like he knows what today is actually going to be. But at least we are done with the dating show premise. My date with that Cappy Barra guy went terrible. We have to stop letting people on here without proper vetting. He lived in the stables. He seemed nice. I'm sorry you haven't found someone yet. I really hope you do. Jin and Laylee and I are doing a little anniversary celebration, and we wanted to invite you. Furrow Bo is going to be there. I know he's quiet, but he feels very safe. Pass. I don't like a guy that can read my thoughts. It just sets us up for me. Let's roll that beautiful intro music, and then hit Silas' smile stories. Sounds great. A House Civis Broadcasting. Every time I say that, it feels like a bad case of deja vu. Happy far, everyone. It is the 20th of Erie, 
And I'm your dizzy host, Silas DeCivis. No, 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 no. This can't be happening again. I gotta get out. I understand that feeling. This place gets to me some days too. But today won't be as bad until we get to- Kevin! We did this twice already. I say Kevin is gonna bring up tiny taverns, and then you say he he is is really really pushing pushing that that idea. idea. That That was was weird. weird. Let's Let's, um, um, jump jump into... into... Is Meeps teaching you how to read my mind? Because that is freaky. No, you have to listen. We did all of this. It, 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 it's some, it's some kind of time loop. It's some kind of time loop. A time loop? Really? That is the best idea you have for a prank? It's not a prank. I'm stuck in a loop. Then what am I going to say next? I don't know. This is only my third go around and we haven't done this part yet. Then maybe it isn't a loop. Please, Silas, you have to believe me. Okay, let's say that you are in a time loop. How long is the time loop itself? Like a few minutes? Well, then hunger, thirst, and exhaustion aren't currently an issue, but those could come up. Uh, What's restarting you? I I don't know. I was so focused on the riddle. You know, we figured out that the answer is that the four jolly men are the kings in a deck of cards, and then you heard a ringing from the singer device, and then you hit it. A ringing that sounds like that one there? Don't hit the device. Meeps, shut it down. Please don't hit... Greetings and salutations to all of our fair citizens in this beautiful city. We are delighted to see that you have returned for another chapter in the saga that is shiny in high society. The city is absolutely buzzing with anticipation for the upcoming Tain Gala. I shan't be missing it, I assure you, Lady Thornton. Yes, yes, Lady Thornton. T-H-O-R-N-T-A-N. To answer your question, Lady De Civis, sovereigns know. I have known an associate or two to skip Gala, but this, no, this promises to be one for the ages. Ilyara Boromar's daughter has finally returned from studying abroad in Arcanix, and as such, Lady Boromar has pulled out all the stops for this upcoming Gala. Or at least that's the chatter I hear up in Skyway. So pedestrian. A most joyous occasion indeed. It will be the talk on everyone's lips. It shall be the very best night, assuming the libations are kept at a minimum. The Boromar cocktails are kyberspond. The perfect mix of sweet and pungent. I have found myself adrift on them on previous nights and missed so much of the fun. Oh, that is so very true. Not that I would know about overindulging in libations. But that's neither here nor there. We should, of course, talk about the new corsetry coming out on dare. And after that, we shall bring music on other events and gossips of the season. I heard that an Irtane boy... Oh... No, I'll have to tell you later. Yes, I want to talk about whom my maid saw going into a war-forged brothel last week. I'm sure it will bring quite the scandal. (laughs) Forever, look lively, old chap, and cue the music. A House Civis Broadcasting Every time I say that, it feels like a bad case of deja vu. Happy far, everyone. It is. I said not to hit it, Silas. One of the six are you talking (laughs) about? I didn't touch anything. You you did. Well, not you, but but you. You you hit the singer, and it sent me back. Don't hit the singer, no matter what, okay? Just don't do it. Wow, someone is doing her best to get out of tiny taverns. Kevin keeps... Kevin! We did this twice already. I say Kevin is going to bring up tiny taverns, and then you say he is really, really pushing, pushing that, that idea. idea. That, that was weird. weird. Let's, Let's um jump, jump into... into... No, he isn't teaching me mind reading. This is a time loop. You asked me how long and whether or not I'm suffering from thirst or hunger. Well, uh, good questions, me. And then it started ringing, and then we established that you hitting the device does it. Did we? Why would you... Did you reset? 
No. Then it isn't the hitting that is the issue. It's ringing. <gasps> it's ringing. It's, whenever the ringing happens, that's the answer. That's the answer. Just in time, too. It's starting. How do we make the ringing stop? Well, <laughs> good luck, then. <laughs> Good day and welcome Storm Reach Outreach to your most reliable source of news in the city. I am your host, Tama Sumanya, and I've got some exciting news for all of our Fight Fan listeners. The Cell Shadras, in conjunction with the Storm Lords, have decided to slash prices for this week's event. With a sudden influx of bloodbound, admission to the Red King on Maul has been cut in half and refreshments will be by one get one. They are also introducing a midday monster mayhem where we will see twenty bloodbound face off against a three round gauntlet of some of the jungle's deadliest foes. All of this will be the perfect lead up to the real action where we get to see newcomer Zimbos the Hill Giant go toe to toe with the reigning Red Ring champion Kavmath Crownbreaker Upshot. A House Civis Broadcasting. Every time I say that, it feels like a bad case of deja vu. Happy far, everyone. Well. <laughs> What? Why? That device is an Eldritch machine waiting to ruin my day. And I will not be doing this again. I'm gonna go to my office, look right for a bit, and then I will go back to figuring out this nonsense. I I don't understand. Uh, I, I'm so confused. What is happening? I guess it's j just me today. Um, wait, uh, Luffy, your cat is in the booth. We talked about this. You cannot let her run around like this. No, no, down, Tifa. You can't be on the desk. Down. I don't want to hear it. You know you can't be up there. I have a show. Fine, you can sit on my lap, but you have to be quiet. I could get used to this. Maybe we just have her host instead of a Luffy. Answer was the cat all along, right, Meeps? <laughs> uh, the Silas and Tifer show. <laughs> Meeps, do you hear a ringing? Welcome to Wake Up Waterdeep. And what a beautiful eight day morning it is, Cirrus. Do you have any exciting plans for this week's end? I do not, Aloysius. This week's end is going to be quiet. I do have a rather exciting celebration coming up next week on 3-day. I went ahead and rented out the entire yawning portal. <laughs> what an exciting time. What are you celebrating? <laughs> well, it's my birthday. I'm bringing in my dearest friends, and we are gonna enjoy the quipper and chips and several kegs of Shadow Dark Ale. Then, we have three groups of adventurers, and we're gonna have them head down into Undermountain. It's gonna be a great time. I'm looking forward to the betting. If one makes it out, we get to eat cake. And if not, I'm gonna throw the cake down into Undermountain. <laughs> what a fun time indeed. I'm sorry I won't be able to make it. Oh, it's quite alright. I know you have that trip up to Baldur's Gate. I wouldn't want you to cancel that. You've been looking forward to it. With all the guilds and gangs here, I don't blame you for getting out for a little bit. The flaming fists up there keep the peace? It is a welcome change. I have never felt so safe in all my life. Waterdeep could really benefit from that level of discipline here. Maybe this city should hire some mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that too loud. We don't want Xanathar to hear. <laughs> oh, we also have some other news from across the continent. Ooh, exciting. I always love hearing about all of those other spots. So what's going on outside of the Sword Coast? Well, oh, huh, that's weird. 
This news from the realms is blank. The wizards must have forgotten the realms news. <gasps> forgotten the realms news? Why would the wizards do such a thing? Surely there must be something going on beyond the sword ghost. I don't know. It's not there. It's not there. A House Civis Broadcasting. Every time I say that, it feels like a bad case of deja vu. <sighs> Silas, I don't want to hear another word from you. Your glowy striped face is just too much for me right now. You smell like an old people's home if they decided to go on a full binge. You are the embodiment of my grandmother's alcohol cabinet because none of it tastes good. But you have to go, ooh, just because you're being nice. I am so fed up with all of this. There's a stupid time loop and I just, I can't, I can't figure it out. And meeps, the whole staying quiet thing, I love you. I do. But some of our listeners think that you're a forged without a voice. That is how little you give people, man. Maybe you should just say a word fucking now and again. Oh, okay. Oh, and Kevin. Kevin. Kevin's not even here right now. But don't get me started on Kevin. He is needy and overbearing. And yes, I care about him. But I am just so done with this right now. Oh, and let's not even get started on them. Our silent overlords hovering all the time because Silas, you had to be an ass. And now how Civis is up our ass about everything. And now we can't even say the stuff we want to all because the doyen of the house wants to keep us on a leash. Did you get it all out? Because that felt like a long time coming. It's cathartic, isn't it? You know, it, um, it kind of is. It kind of is. You know, maybe I guess anger really is the answer sometimes. You said it, sister. Maybe after today's episode, we could go back to the Brawl Tavern. Just throw around a couple of... What is that noise? Do you, do you hear that? Or are you getting that? <laughs> a meeps, uh, shut it down. It's not stopping. Let me try hitting it. Salutations and welcome to the number one new show in Barovia, Strahd Knows Best. This is your weekly dose of uplifting news here in Barovia, and how our lord and master, Strahd Van Zarvich, is the best and the most merciful ruler of them all. I am your host, Mishka. And I am also your host, Vasilisa. We have many blessings to bring you today. First... In food news, we have recently been informed that our local purveyor of dream pasties has decided to give back to the community. In the future, to raise awareness in the village, dream pastries will now feature the faces of missing children. Each missing child will be featured on a batch of cookies and a part of the proceeds will go into a missing children's fund. A very heartwarming story indeed, and it will be good for the families to see their missing young again. Agreed. In local really that news, the house that burned down several weeks ago, you know the one, it has been rebuilt, and the children at the home are still reaching out for your help. So if you have to travel on the east side of town, it would be best to avoid the street. 
I would recommend Strode Street or Strode Avenue. Both are easy workarounds. I always take a perpetual suffering boulevard across town. Yes, but then you have to pass by Mad Mary's all and all of her screaming and carrying on. Ugh. I will take that over to those kids any day. Also in... It is midnight. And you know what that means. Our Lord and Master Strahd will be stopping by the studio. My beloved. Uh, this again. You aren't my beloved. But perhaps you... I'm sorry, Lord Strahd. Once again, I am not your beloved. Then I must away. Arena! As always, Lord Strahd has a reward out for his beloved, thus with information resulting in the return of his beloved will be granted a swift and timely death. Strahd, Strahd be, be praised. praised. A House Civis Broadcasting. Every time I say that, it feels like a bad case of deja vu. I hate this so much. I <laughs> understand that feeling, and this place gets to me some days too, but today won't be as bad until we get to- Silas, I'm stuck in a time loop. A time- No, it's no joke. Please, just let me. We've done this whole dance one too many times, and I just want out. You brought up eating and such. Just help me, please. What do I do? Well, um, did we try cutting your finger and seeing if it heals? Uh, it's good to know all the rules. No, we didn't discuss that at all. Is is that a thing we have to worry about? Well, not necessarily. Here, make a cut on your thumb. Uh, did I give you a code word to speed this up? Ouch. Mm. Um, no? Well, let's do that. Something you wouldn't know, and I would know meant it was serious. Uh, when we reset, just stop me and say two toes. It'll speed things up for you. What, what is that? Will you ask me to explain or anything? Just no, I wouldn't ask you because I know what the answer is. I wasn't taking this seriously before. What's that noise? Do you hear that? It's coming from the singer. It... <sighs> well, at least this trip was a little bit more fun. Meeps, shut it down. It's, uh, it's not stopping. Let me try hitting it. Hello? And welcome to Wonders of Wild Mount. I'm your host, Trista. And I'm your host, Gilderstern. It's another bright and beautiful day here in Nicodranas. I can't agree more. I opened my windows this morning and looked down over the sea of colored rooftops, breathed the heavy mix of spices on the breeze, and I imagined myself in a far-off field of flowers and butterflies. It was absolutely wonderful feeling. I took to the streets of the city and made my way down to Open K. What a blissful morning. Oh, my morning was not quite so blissful. The gulls have started nesting on my roof again. Oh no, that is terrible to hear. Oh, the noise is only half of the issue. The scent, oh, that's the real issue. But I have someone on that issue currently. Well, hopefully a bear claw will help make it up to you. I grabbed a few on my way in. Oh, you shouldn't have. These things are dangerous. I have one, and then two days later I found myself holed up in Withered Bird. It's the cinnamon. It does bad things to me. <laughs> then I will have yours. <laughs> we have a great show planned today. Today, as we do the first of each month, we invited Eusus Arenas from Tide Peak to come here and chant with us. He has declined our invitation for a sooner appointment, but according to his assistant, Wensforth, we will still have our scheduled appointment in seven months. So we will try for an earlier appointment again next month. Oh, he is so elusive. I love Wensforth, though. He's a constant professional, even when he is having you removed from the property. 
just an absolute delight. Since we will not be speaking with Yusa, we will have Lightkeeper Gladys stopping by, and we're going to talk with her about the Wild Mother. A House Civis Broadcasting Every time I say that, it feels like a bad case of deja vu. Hey, Silas. Yeah? Uh, two toes. What? I'm trapped in a time loop, and you said to say two toes. Well, this is, um... All those major eight fiction books as a child finally, uh, paying off for me, I guess. The cut you told me to make isn't on my thumb. Is that good or bad? Neither. Uh, it's just good to, good know, to know all the rules. The rules. Yeah. 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 Been through that. Have we tried playing out the day again as you would? I feel like a lot of times when this type of thing happens, that's what people are encouraged to do. What do you mean? Well, live your best day, be nice to people, or play the part you were meant to play. Conventional time loop solutions. There was a novel that was big when I was growing up that had one. It's what made me think of the code phrase. It was just a silly thing to do. So just play along. Why, well, I have no idea. <laughs> Thanks, Silas. You know, this has been really rough. You can get through this, Aluvi. You are stronger than anyone gives you credit for. That means a lot to me. Well, I figured you needed to hear it, and it's not like I'm going to remember. It's the truth, though. You may not have the answer yet, but you'll get it. I really hope so. What's that noise? <laughs> Do you hear that? It's coming from the singer. That's the reset. Guess it's my cue. Good luck, Luffy. Meeps, shut it down. It's not stopping. Let me try hitting it. Greetings, infrared citizens of Alpha Complex. Welcome to today's Hour 1400 Loyalty Reaffirmation to Friend Computer. All infrared citizens, repeat after me. We love Friend Computer. Great job, Infrared. Remember to watch Tila O this evening. Keep an eye out for those communists, and we will see you at 1600. Greetings, Red Clearance Citizens of Sector DND. &D. Welcome to today's Hour 1401 Loyalty Reaffirmation to Friend Computer. All Red Clearance Citizens repeat after me. We love Friend Computer. Great job, troubleshooters. Today we are running a two for one special on Cold Fun. So make sure you get some while supplies last. Keep an eye out for those communists, and we will see you again at 1601. <laughs> Greetings, Orange. Welcome, Orange Comrades. Welcome to Test of Loyalty for Computer. All Orange in Sector are to go to abandon transit platform in Sector D and D. Friend Computer has left pamphlets to promote loyalty. Make sure all are distributed to all citizens. And we will see you again at 1602. Greetings, Yellow Clearance. A House Civis Broadcasting. Every time I say that, it feels like a case of bad deja vu. Happy Far, everyone. It's the 20th of Iyer, and I'm your dizzy host, Silas DeCivis. And I'm your slightly concerned co-host, Luffy Haskell DeCivis. I'm sorry to hear that you're feeling off. It's all right. I just heard a weird ringing. It's probably nothing. We've got a great show for our listeners. We have some of Luffy's advice questions, a bit of news... And then our old pal Kevin is going to join us to sing a song and talk more about the tiny taverns. He is really pushing that idea. Please, someone, come perform for him. He is. But I think it's going to be a good time today here on, on a Chronicle, a Chronicle of, of Echoes. Echoes.
All right, Silas. I know that you have a riddle for me, and I would love to get past that and onto the rest of the asks, if you will, so we can deliver some real help to our listeners. Well, all right. Um, dear Luffy, four jolly men sat down to play and played all night till the break of day. They played for cash and not for fun, with a separate score for every one. When it came time to square accounts, they all made quite fair amounts. Now, not one has lost, and all have gained. Tell me now, this can you explain? Your friend, Flamewind. Yeah, um, so we solved it. Um, it's that the four jolly men are kings in a deck of cards. Well, not to rain on anyone's picnic, but that is a terrible answer to a riddle. The answer was always some dumb thing you couldn't possibly get, because it requires a level of abstract thought. Well, the answer is definitely that it's kings in a deck of cards. Wouldn't a better answer be... Do you hear that ringing? When did that start? It always starts when we say the word answer. Does that, does that mean... This is Manifest Zone Zone, the podcast that explores the breadth and depth of Manifest Zone, exploring the breadth and depth of Eberron. I'm one of your hosts, Stephen Myers. And I'm Rebecca Gray. And in this episode, we'll be talking about the most recent episode of Manifest Zone, live from GaryCon. So I think right out of the gate, we have to address the elephant in the room. Christian's sexy voice, Serrano, is back. And I have to say, I am all for it. His smooth delivery is what the show has been missing. That is ridiculous. You have a dream team in Keith, Wayne, and Imogen. Why add him back in? Four hosts is complicating things for sure. You can't say that. When you when you heard him do the introduction, didn't, didn't you get like the goosebumps? You have to think back to those early episodes. Well, of course you think back to the early episodes. Uh, but it's not necessarily a good thing. Those early episodes were good, but not great. Did you listen to the Gnomes episode? That was a work of love and hands down the best episode we have so far. But you have to admit that this was better because of the video format. Seeing all of them made it better content. When is seeing them made the content any better? You can see the glint in the eye. You could hear the glint. You don't need to see it. It was already quality. Adding in another... L now I have to pay attention to something while I'm listening to it. It can't be a passive experience anymore. No, I, I, I'm not a fan. You're getting really aggressive about this. I just I have to say that, that, that you arguing, yes, Wayne and Imogen and Keith together doing a great thing. But... Imogen can't carry them this entire time. Imogen's voice is that smooth, silky deliciousness, and we need that in the form of Christian Serrano. No, I'm sorry. You don't add caramel to caramel to make it better. It's already caramel. You don't need to bring in smooth and silky if you already have smooth and silky. No, 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 no. I'm not no. saying caramel and caramel. I'm saying caramel and nougat. We are making ourselves a milky way. Stephen, Keith and Wayne, they're the chocolate and maybe almonds on top, okay? They're what holds everything together, but not the substance. A House Civis Broadcasting. Every time I say that, it feels like a bad case of deja vu. I am such an idiot, Silas. Of course, it had to be the riddle the entire time, right? Like, like, why, why did I just dismiss it like I had it right? Okay, let's think on this again. Let's think on this again. Oh. <gasps> Scores. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, so it isn't to think abstractly, but to think literally. The answer is that the four jolly men are musicians sitting down to play for a dancer party or something. Do you hear any ringing? I do not. I'm confused as to what is you happening, don't hear but uh, no, uh, I do not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. What is going on in here? I have been patiently waiting in the green room for an hour, and you guys keep 
restarting the broadcast. Are we not going to do it today? This feels very unprofessional. I have been preparing for Tiny Taverns. I have so much to do. Why would you do this? I hate this job. 